Hello everybody, my name is Ochara, and this is me at Games Tycoon to another episode of my Let's Play. Got Satisfactorio 5, almost done, getting close, at least. Uh, we're doing some advertising for one of my consoles here, the Lucera Vision Pro, which is on its last legs. This is a an old technology console, but we almost have the 300% sales bonus maxed out. We're at 291.7%, and this game, um, actually this game I think is exclusive for this console. Um, and, and the bonus for this one's climbing up 49.7 handheld still selling really well. I mean, it's the best selling of my three right now. Um, so yeah, we're making this game up here. We are doing an update for Civ city research is twiddling their thumbs right now. Console development. Oh, they have some commission work. I was going to say they're twiddling their thumbs as well. They were not anymore. And marketing is doing marketing. I know shocking, but they do what they do and they do it well. So let's let it rip, see what we can do here. So, okay, so that's, they're doing that. Okay, so they're freed up now. Let's do market research. There's only seven weeks left on this trend. So let's see what's next or what they think is going to be next. There's an 80% chance they're right. So they can be wrong, and I've definitely seen them be wrong before. And they might be again. I'm hoping not. I'm hoping they're right. All right, so let's continue development on this. We got to do some pre-release special marketing and stuff. We can do that with this team, though. Um, we'll do the pre-release press with this team, and we will do the overhype with this team. I don't know if it matters, but overhype, the success chance might be dependent on the team, possibly. Anyway, I went through, and market research tells me the next trend is going to be racing. Have I done a racing game lately? I'm not sure. I have uh, semi-lately. So let's do a racing game next. Um, I think I'm going to make it tech level two so that it goes on all three of my consoles um, because this current game is an exclusive just for this one so basically i've been doing i've been doing an exclusive for this one every third game and i'm going to continue that for a little while longer at least um once i get my tech level three handheld out i'll probably mostly do tech level three games so due to that i don't think the racing engine will need to be up to date let's just check it and make sure it has the best tech level two stuff Probably does. Yes, 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 and yes. Okay, so we don't need to update that engine. So what do we want to do here then? Let's update, free update. Let's do an update for the Mushroom Kingdom add-on for Super Lucera Brothers 5, which is my best-selling game right now at the moment. Actually, it's probably the best-selling game of all time. If it's not already, it will be soon. All-time charts. Yes, it is. It passed Lucera Racing 5. I did not realize Lucera Racing 5 was that good. All right, so we know what's coming. Lucera Racing 6. If racing is likely going to be the trend, that's going to be a that's going to be a burner. And racing quiz show. Well, I don't think we're going to make a quiz show racing game. Um, the unpopular genre is going to be survival, which it already is. So no survival's coming. Hey. One of my platforms is in demand. I always love when one of my platforms shows up there. Doesn't happen that often. All right, so let's uh, let's find a few more graphics people with this team. This is my second um, secondary, um, what's call it, team, <laughs> marketing team. So they're more you know specialized. All right, so let's look for some lucky. We have some efficient people over there already. I'm pretty sure. So. Uh, does anything need a uh, demo? Chef Tycoon 4 could go for a demo. I'm going to polish this till the end of the week and then send it out, I think. A little polishing never hurt anybody, right? And away we go. Plus 11 hype. Beautiful. Finished development. Self-distribution. 80 to 100 review score. That's what we want to see. Okay. So, yeah. So, the Tech Level 3 engine stuff, we're not pros at it yet, but we're getting pretty good. We're pros at industrialization now, pros with dynamic music, almost pros at dynamic level of difficulty. You can say we're a dynamic studio these days. Um, so, yep, there's seven games in this uh, strategy genre right now. None on this platform. That'll help the sales of that. Especially since it's a 97% review score. That will definitely help. All right, so develop a game, sequel. Share Racing 6. Let's go. 
size A for now. We may have to bump it up to double A, depending on uh, manufacturer exclusive, depending on how many features will apply to this game. So go with all three. I might start doing every second game tech level three. Maybe. We'll see. We're not going to do every game, you know, we're going to at least do every third game still. But we're not going to go all the way to every game for sure. All right, so everything looks locked in there. Turn on everything here, 25 or 30. So we'll, we will leave it at size A. We're not going to bump that up. And let's improve this game. As per usual. Nothing we haven't seen before here. High quality sounds. And let's market this up to 100 hype. Boom, this will be two TV spots. Um, how many game reports do we have to do here? Two, so let's get those done. And then once those are done, we'll do some polishing. Let's throw an update at, actually, let's throw an update at Super Luchera Bros. Because it's still, still moving almost 100,000 copies a week. I mean, that'll change when the um, trend changes, obviously. It'll, it'll dip, or it should dip. All right, so our customer support team has finally caught up to the queue. So let's take them off doing that. Let's let the queue build up a little bit. Let's do a few can, a few fan campaigns, get a few more fans. Although <laughs> it's 2,000 fans a pop. I have over 3 point, or I have almost 3.2 million fans. You could argue this is kind of trivial at this point. All right, so we'll share baseball three is off the market. Made $73 million, moved 1.7 million of my consoles. That's a lot of consoles, folks. Like a lot, a lot. All right, so, oh, this add-on is doing really well. Let's do, um, let's do an update for Satisfact Oreo, though, first. Okay, they're done with those game reports, so we can polish. And, oh, did I market that up already? Yep, okay. Probably a little early to do special marketing. What if I do market research with this group? So this is not the same team. So they will, will they come to the same conclusion? They did. I'm wondering, though... Like generally, if you if you repeat market research with the same team, they, you get the same results, right? I'm wondering if that's the case if you do it with a second team, right? Or if you're going to get the same results regardless. All right, so by playing Battle 5 off the market, um, made 93 million, <laughs> moved almost 1.9 million of my consoles. That is insane. All right, so we got some research here. We got gameplay feature, adjustable controls, and we got the 3.2 inch color screen. So this is the tech level three handheld screen but i am not going to make a tech level three handheld yet um i kind of explained why a couple videos ago i'm going to briefly explain it again because so it's 1989 right now right the tech level four handheld screen does not come out until 2001 i believe it is it's a really long time so we're going to have this tech level three handheld for a long time right um, all right, so there's another graphic search. They're efficient and lucky, so that's kind of the dream. There was extra bugs, so I didn't polish long enough. All right, well, we'll just throw another update at it. It sucks that because I just did an update for it. Um, so that handheld is going to be like my, my, my handheld, my primary handheld for a long time. Basically, because it's tech level three, and then we'll be revising it to tech level four. So it's going to be our handheld to like, I think 2005 is when tech level four screen comes out. Um, so it needs to be good, right? Um, the thing is, well, the, the, the quality is irrelevant to what I'm about to say. Um, internet capability for consoles comes out in 1991. If we put the tech level three handheld out now, you can't revise in internet capability. So our handheld will not have cap internet capability for like, you know, till after 2005. And that's way too late. We, we're going to want that, right? So because of that, I'm not going to make one. I'm not going to make my Tech Level 3 handheld until 91 when internet capability comes out. Basically, is the moral of the story. All right, so there's another graphic designer. Nice. Wait until the end of the week and then we'll put this out. Overhype went through. I feel like overhype's going through quite a bit lately. All right, so actually, we'll, we'll hold up. Let's hold the phone here. Uh, let's throw adjustable controls on there. We'll add that. Um, so let's switch this group to bug fixing so they can bug fix 
the limited amount of bugs that are going to be caused by adjustable controls getting added, right? Team development, get the bugs fully gone, and they are. So now let's release this. Finish development. Self-distribution, of course. I self-distribute all my games. And that's going to be the case now and always. All right, so everything looks good. So whatever I make now, 95%. I was hoping for a little higher, but I'll take 95%. Let's go large booth. We might be getting to the point where doing any game at less than tech level three, it, it kind of there's kind of like a cap on how good it can be. It's possible, right? We might be at that point now. Um, we'll see. Uh, so let's do these two consoles with the lowest hype. Another 5,000 fans. We are in the summer slump. All right, so other than racing, what else is popular right now? Um, fighting games, fairly popular. Do we still have a fighting game on the market? Chairs Punch Out 2. Um, but I, that's only one of my fighting game IPs, right? If I have four stars in fighting games, so that means I've done four of them. So we could do our other IP. Sports games, reasonably popular and not saturated. Same as the fighting game. I cannot eco sim action. You got some options here. Let's do fighting. Let's just check that engine should, I'm pretty sure be up to date. Yeah. For at least the tech, best tech level two stuff. Cause this one's, this game's going to be tech two, right? Develop a game sequel. Karate master three. It is third game. That's usually where you start getting real meaty IP gains, right? So, manufacturer exclusive. Speaking of IPs, let's take a peek at uh, what's out there. All right, so let's look. Actually, ooh, what's going on here? So let's look at the letters for Jared's Punch Out 2. Oh, and hey, if you're enjoying this video, enjoying this series in general, do me a favor, hit that like button. Helps me out a lot as a small YouTuber. All right, so let's take a look at these letters. Um, Too short, so more... Yeah, some more length. Okay, but I put the length down. Lengths. What? <laughs> Better characters. Okay, so did I move those the wrong way? Too innocuous. Right, so this needs to go down. Apparently. Wait. All right, I'll lock in. Okay, so. Well, that's no um okay hold on hold on let's copy what we did for Lucera's punch out two Lucera's punch out two all right so copy these settings okay now <laughs> too short all right so more length better character design too innocuous okay so there try that Right. Yeah, no, I see I screwed up. I I should have if I'm gonna use the letters, you gotta go back to the settings you used for that game's letters, right? Anyway, 30 of 30. So do I wanna make this double A? Like if another feature comes through halfway through development, I'm not gonna be able to add it. But on the other hand, it's like 2.25 million extra for a double A game. But the game will be a little better. So you know what? Let's do it. Let's do double A. Why not? We've done double A before. We can do another double A here. I think it'll be fine. Especially since it's a game that's coming for all three of my consoles. So it should make good money, right? I don't have to worry about it, like losing money. Let's immediately polish. Yeah. And let's do a day zero patch for Lucera Racing 6. And any research? There is not. All right, let's let it rip. Oh, it's probably should do some marketing. That would be helpful. Generally, generally marketing is good. <laughs> Hype is good. Commission work? No, nope. no commission work for the console team. Another one of my engines was licensed. That's good because they're more likely to make games for my consoles, right? If they're using my engines, since my engines are fine-tuned for my consoles. Let's get through this commission work up here. Should be quick. We got another graphic designer. 
this room is starting to fill up, and that's fine. Hey, two in a row, or close to two in a row at least. All right, oh yeah, we made a lot of money off this engine. <laughs> 1% share of 152000 is $1,500. And yes, you are looking at this number correctly, if you can see it, because it's a really small number. It's a small number because it's so big. Uh, the, the font is small. Because I have $3.3 .3 billion in the bank. I am on normal difficulty, is why. The reason I'm on normal difficulty is because this is a console-focused run. And the problem is, if you go on hard difficulty, takes a while to get console unlocked and I wanted to get consoles unlocked ASAP, right? Basically is why, if anybody's wondering, because I know people have asked um, what difficulty mode. I am on normal. It's not easy, it's normal, but normal is pretty easy if you're experienced with the game and I am now. All right, so Rockstar Quest 2 off the market. This is one of the first exclusives for this. Only moved 155,000, only made 7 million, but hey, it made money and it moved consoles. I'm happy with that, or at least satisfied with that, right? All right, so pre-release of the press, and we are going to overhype, because why not? All right, one more graphics art is perfect, so we are going to switch off of graphics and onto development team, folks. All right, so overhype did not work. So I'm pull Actually, how are my consoles doing? Do I want to hype up my consoles? 90 yeah no we're gonna wait till it gets down into the low 80s at least before we start doing that so we're gonna look for a game designer with the all-arounder um specialty and we'll start yeah we'll start with the high i don't want any of the inexperienced people anymore i want i want good people at this point well not good i want experienced let's polish this up a little bit all right so this next game i make is going to be tech level three and it's going to be probably an action game. So we have, what do we got for action here? Space Invasion 6. So we could do a new biplane battle. I believe my action engine should be up to date from that one I just did not that long ago. There's a game designer. Uh, but let's double check. Let's make sure it is. And yep, and yep, and yep. Okay, so it is. We don't need to update that engine. Um, what else is selling well here? Transport King is selling pretty well. Worthy of an update. Transport King 2. Probably because it's a racing game and racing is the trend, right? Um, no research to do. I don't think I need to polish this any further, right? I think we can ship it as is. Yeah, self-distribution. Nice, nice, and nice. Hey, 95 is good. Anything over 95 is extremely good and rare and should be celebrated, right? All right, so biplane battle. Where are we at here? Biplane battle, six. This is a pretty good IP, over three-star IP. Ooh, speaking of IPs, this will be, be a double-A size game as well. Pretty sure my last action game was double-A. So action engine, not multi-platform exclusive, not for the Guitari, Blue Chair System. There we go. It's up to 13% market share. That's not bad for a stationary console. Getting better at this graphic stuff. We'll be pros at the graphics and sound after this. So usually the trend is once you get five stars in the graphics, new graphics are probably coming. <laughs> so new graphics are probably coming. That's fine though. And yeah, 33 or 40, so yeah, definitely double A, because literally every single thing applies to an action game. Literally everything. All right. Yeah. We're already all in on this game, <laughs> making it double A with all those features, so we might as well just really go all in. Last through a couple game reports here first. How many people do I have in my sound room? 26, so we're going to have to hire some more there as well. Soon-ish. Biplane play battle. Okay, so this is at 60 hype. So we're just doing one TV spot to get to 90. Then we can try to overhype it to get it up over 100. And let's um let's look at IPs here. Let's look at IP trade. Um any IPs worth buying? Shh. Two stars, that's it. I mean, like how many IPs do I have? 
that are more valuable than two stars. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven with another one at two stars. And actually, oh wow, Super Lucera Bros is only one and a half because that's like the best selling game of all time. Hmm. Kind of surprised by that. Now, somebody mentioned in a comment that I should maybe buy some IPs. Um, it was weird though. Like, I got the notification, I could see their comment, but I couldn't reply to it. So I don't know if they deleted it or what happened there. But anyway, um, if you're watching, you know who you are, probably. I don't know why I can't reply to your comment, but yeah, maybe after this, I'll buy an IP. Oh, and for a while there, I completely forgot I was doing licenses for all my games. And I like just stopped. <laughs> I should probably get back to that. Right. Oh, we got a new sound chip as well. So let's research that. So similar to the um, my handheld, I'm not going to, I'm going to revise this as soon as the bet, the better tech level three stuff comes. I'm not going to wait to tech level four because of the whole internet capability issue. Um, yeah, it is what it is. Being internet capable is pretty important. All right, so there's some more folks there. Do some polishing here. Yeah, so we're filling up this room pretty quick. So let's uh, actually end automation and let's start looking for some sound folks instead. And speaking of sound, we just lost some points because we uh, stole a track from the hit from the charts, a hit from the charts. We didn't really, but that's how it appears, right? And appearances are, you know, 90% of it are, that, that's not the saying. I forget what the saying is. Um, let's see what the next trend is going to be, assuming I don't set a trend between now and then, which is always possible. Sports. But that is not for 48 weeks, so we're not going to worry about that. Ooh, if I want to do an ecosim game, I should do it now. Probably right. Get an eco sim out as soon as possible. So my next game will be an eco sim. All right. So let's look for sound artist. Lucky. Let's go. Is there any more research? There is not. That was quick to get a sound person. Another engine was licensed. Except this one actually made me some money. <laughs> so that's good. Um, let's do an update for. Oh well, we maxed out the bonus. We maxed out the sales bonus on that console. That's crazy. 300%. But I should probably actually be thinking about taking it off the market. Right? Because it's it's eating into this one's, um, you know, users. But as you can see, this one's actually trending up pretty nicely, which is good. Right? So it's, I mean, the fact that it's naturally trending up while this stays on the market makes me want to leave it on the market, kind of, if that makes sense. Uh, let's um let's polish this up. We gotta do we gotta do some special marketing anyway. Preview some press and some overhype. Beautiful. I just want to check the charts here. And it's by far the best selling console of all time by like 8 million over the NES. The old Game Boy's charging up the charts here though, or the, sorry, the Mimtendu game portable. It's the Game Boy. We, I know it, you know it, we all know it. We all know it's the Game Boy, right? Oh, that's the, that's the wrong button. That's what happens when you hit E instead of W when you're trying to scroll. It's I am a pro gamer. Ooh, land multiplayer. We wanna wait till this is done and, and throw this in. Yeah, let's wait. Let's throw this in. We're going to throw this into that game. As soon as it's done. Okay, so, I mean, assuming it fits. It does. It doesn't fit well, but it fits. And let's get them to remove any new bugs. Away we go. Got to get rid of these 10 bugs. I mean, I know it's, it's 10 bugs. Should be fine. Self-distribution. I'm expecting this to be over 95%. I'm hoping at least. Should be. It really should be. Pros with these uh, engine features, which is good. Yep, 98. And it's really hard to get over 98%. Like, 
you know, I've I played this game for hundreds of hours. I think I've gotten over ninety eight percent once, and it was a ninety nine. I've never got a hundred percent. And I even I even had one run where like towards the end of the run, I was like, all right, I'm not stopping this run until you get a hundred percent game, and I I didn't. I just I just didn't. <laughs> um, all right, so. So this is an eco sim. Is this my only eco sim license? It is. But you know what I could do? I could spin off Zootopia, right? And call it Zoo Tycoon. Or Zootopia Tycoon. Um, how valuable is that one though? Yeah, it's only 0. 0.7. Yeah, we can get it up. Yeah, we'll spin it off. Zootopia Tycoon. We go size A, change it to eco sim. That's an important step, Luch. <laughs> Manufacturer exclusive, change the engine over to eco sim. Another important step. Throw my three consoles in there. Looks good. Everything is in the right place here. I just hit this button. This automatically applies known optimal settings. Which is good because where it headed was the skill game settings, right? Because we're spinning off a, a skill game into an eco sim. So if I wouldn't have hit that button, this game would have been bad. Because <laughs> some of those sliders were nowhere near where they were supposed to be. Because they were where they were supposed to be for a skill game. All right. Got to throw the controller support in there. I always forget about that. All right. So this is going to need some marketing because this only has 25 hype. Which is not great. Because spin-offs just have less carryover hype than actual sequels, right? Which makes sense in my mind. And probably go through some game reports here. Ah, there's just one. Yeah, we can blow through it though. That'll be fine. Improve gameplay. And improve graphics. Or high quality graphics, whatever you want to call. And here let's do a update for Biplane Battle 6. And I do believe. That's going to do it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Join my Discord. Consider supporting me on Patreon. Links in the description down below. Most importantly, though, good to each other. Have a great day. And I'll see you in the next one.